OK, let's add a storage account resource into this empty template. If you move the cursor down in between the square brackets, which denotes the resources array, you can obviously have multiple resources within a template. Hit enter, it will drop down a line and automatically indent neatly for us. If you then type arm hyphen STG, then that will bring up the storage account snippet. It will automatically highlight storage account one, which is used both the name and for our display name tag, which is a bit superfluous, but we'll keep it there. Um, I want you to replace this with something which is unique for you. So I'm going to put in my alias and then storage account afterwards. This needs to be globally unique. This forms part of the FQDN, the fully qualified domain name, uh, which is used to access the various HTTPS endpoints for blob, for file, for table, for queue. Um, and therefore, it needs to be globally unique. So enter in your own stream, but make sure it's unique. Maybe add a few numbers at the end just to make sure. Uh, the naming convention of that can be between 3 and 24 characters, um, alphanumeric or lowercase. Once you're done, Control-S to save.